In our health alert tonight, for years, salmonella scares have centered around raw and uncooked foods like chicken, eggs, or lettuce. But this summer, the bacteria found its way into the kind of packaged foods we've never really worried about before. Over the past few weeks, Pepperidge Farm Goldfish, Ritz Crackers, Kellogg's Honey Smacks, all recalled popular products possibly tainted with salmonella. And it turns out the potentially fatal pathogen is sneaky and not only thrives in wet environments, but can survive in dry environments as well. And in the case of these three recalls, the whey powder used in the dry foods was potentially contaminated. So what is salmonella and how does it get into our packed foods? Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi, joins us now with some of these answers, Doc. So, Dave, you know, really scary. Salmonella is a bacteria that can make you sick with symptoms like fever, diarrhea, and stomach cramps. Now, it spreads when someone doesn't wash their hands or when small dirt spores that carry traces of animal poop get inside a food manufacturing plant. Now, the CDC, they estimate that roughly 1.2 million people every year become ill from salmonella. So, unfortunately, food poisoning from this is very common. Mm. So, Doc, what happens when salmonella is found in dry foods? So they, uh, what happens is that once the bacteria is inside a food plant, it can cling to the equipment and get inside packaged foods, like cereal and crackers, like we're talking about. In order to get rid of salmonella, everything needs to be thoroughly clean with an ethanol-based sanitizer, dry ice, parasitic acid, or chlorine bleach. Oh, so what can people do to prevent salmonella, Doc? So, Glenda, okay. there's no vaccine to prevent salmonellosis, but there are safety steps you can take. First, if you handle birds, reptiles, or baby chicks, or clean up pet poop, be sure to wash your hands afterwards with, with soap and water. After preparing raw meat, you need to clean up anything that comes into contact with it, like your counters, cutting boards, utensils, and also be sure to cook ground beef, poultry, and eggs thoroughly. And lastly, please do not eat foods that contain raw eggs or unpasteurized milk, as these can also be contaminated. Listen, you know, salmonella usually is not life-threatening, but... Older folks, babies, and anyone with a weak immune system can really develop dangerous complications that would likely need to be hospitalized. So those are worrisome. Just take precautions, like I said, and I think you should be okay. So, Doc, when it starts off, does it feel like food poisoning? It can, oh. you know, but, but the problem is that for some people it can last longer. So you just have to take precautions so you don't get there. Yeah, right. and, and this surprises in yeah. terms of the, the dry goods. Uh, my grandparents lived in Battle Creek, and back in the day, Kellogg's had Kellogg's. public tours, right? Exactly. And it was amazing how careful they were in terms of that preparation and the packaging of that product back then. Um, once, it gets, once it gets in, that's the issue. Once uh, it gets in, you need a, such a massive cleaning process. That's why we're, we're so worried. But we'll stay tuned and follow the story. Yeah, for sure. All right, doctor. Thank you very much. Of course. Great information as always. And if you have a question or health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get it to him. Mm -hmm.